Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen. My name is William, and today I'm going to read, um, read um, another part of the Bible. Today we're going to read Genesis chapter 30, okay? Okay. And when Rachel saw that she bare Jacob no children, Rachel and, and, and filed her sister unto Jacob, give me children or else I die. Uh, okay. Uh, and Jacob and Jacob's anger was was kinded against Rachel. And he said And God's, I mean God's, stand. Or that steed, I don't know. Um, I'm going to look at my phone. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry with the sneezing, but I'm trying to. Okay, it's dead. Okay, that's what's pronounced. He's dead. I mean, God's dead. Who, uh, who, who hath with, withheld from thee the fruit of the womb? And she said, Behold, and my maid Belah, and go unto her, and she shall bear upon my knees, and I will also give children by her, and I will also give them the hat or handmaid to wife Jacob went un unto her, and Bilhah conceived and bare Jacob a son. And Rachel said, God hath judged me, and and, he and hath also heard my voice, and hath given me a, given me a son. Therefore, she called his name Dan. And Bilhah, Rachel's made conceive again, and bear Jacob a second son. And Rachel said with great wrestlings, and wrestled and wrestled with my sister. And I have prevailed, and she called his name Nephtali, Nephtali when Lee saw when she was left bearing, and Zilpa her maid, and gave her Jacob to wife, and Zilpa, Lee's maid, bare Jacob a son, and Lee said, A troop cometh, and she called his name Gad, and Zippa, Lee's maid, bare Jacob second son, and Lee said, Happy am I, for the daughters will call me blessed. And she called his name Asher. And Reuben went in the days of 
harvest and found mandrakes in the field and brought them into his mother leech and Rachel said to thee gave me I paid thee for thy son's mandrakes and she said unto her it's a small matter that thou hast taken my husband and wouldst thou take away my son's mandrakes also Rachel said therefore I shall lie with thee tonight for thy son's mandrakes. What? And Jacob came out of the field in the evening, and Lee. Went out to meet him, and he said, Thou, thou must come unto me, for surely I hired thee with son's mandrakes, with my son's mandrakes. And he lay with her that night. And God haggard unto Lee, and she conceived and bare Jacob the fifth son. And Lee said, God given me my hire, because I have given my maiden to my husband, and she called his name Isachar. And he conceived again, and bare Jacob a sixth son. And he said, God endued in, me in, with a good dowry. Now, my husband dwell me with me because I have bore him six sons, and she called his name. Zubalin, and afterwards she bare a daughter, and called her name Dinah, and remember, and God remember Rachel, and God hearkened to her, and opened her womb, and she conceived, and bare a son, and said, God hath taken away my reproach. And she called, and she called his name Joseph. And said, The Lord shall add unto me others, another son. And it came to pass, when Rachel had born Joseph, that, that Jacob said unto Laban, And said away, that I go unto mine old place and my country, and gave me my wives and, ch and my children, for whom I shall serve thee, and that go, for thou knowest my service, which I have done thee. And Levin said unto him, I pray thee, and I have found favor in thine eyes, Terry, or yeah, Terry, I, or Tardy, I don't know how to pronounce that. Let me find out. Terry. Okay. Okay, I think it's pronounced Terry. Okay, for I have learned my experience with, the, with that Lord had blessed for thy sake. And he said, Appoint me thy wages, and I will give it. And I said unto him, Thou knowest how I serve thee, and how my cattle were with me. For it was on which thou hast before I came, it is now increasing into a multitude, and the Lord hath blessed since my coming, and now and shall provide for me, my own house also. And he said, What shall I give thee? And Jacob said, Thou shalt not give 
me anything. If thou wilt do this thing for me, I will again feed and keep my flock. Um, I will pass through not thy flock, flock today, um, removing my fence and all that speckled to and spotted cattle and all the brown cattle upon my sh among the sheep and the spot of the speckled among the goats at the end of the such shall be my hire so shall be me shall shall my righteousness answer for me in time to come what shall come from my hire before thy face and every one that is not speckled and smoke among the goats and brown among the sheep that shall be stolen with me. And Levin said, Behold, I want it be my according to thy word. And he removed that day when the goats that were ring strayed and spotted, and all the she goats are that were speckled and spotted, and every one that had some white in it, and the and the brown among the sheep, and gave them unto the hand of the sons. And he said three days journey, been waxed himself, and Jacob, and Jacob fed the rest of the Lebanon's flocks. And Jacob took them rods of the green poplar, poplar, Poplar. Okay, Poplar. Okay, Pop. Okay, Green Poplar. And that of the hazel and chestnut tree and peeled white strakes in them and made white appear which was in the rods. And he said unto the words, and he appealed before the flocks and the gutters and the watering throughs when the flocks came to drink. And the flocks that seemed before the rods and brought forth the cattle ring strilled, speckled, and spotted. And Jacob did separate the lambs, and set the faces of the flocks toward the ring stood of the brown and the flock on the laban. And she and, and he put down the flocks by themselves, and put them not and put them not unto Laban's cattle. And it came to pass, whensoever the struggling cattle did come see that Jacob's land the rods before the eyes of the cattle in the gutters, and they might conceive among the rods. When the cattle were feeble, and he put them in. He put them not in, but sold the feeble of Evan stronger than Jacob's. And the man increased ex ex exceedingly. And how much cattle the mean servants of men servants, camels and and camels and asses. Okay, and that's the ending of Genesis chapter thirty. Okay. Okay. Next video. I'll read um, Genesis chapter 31. Okay? Okay. Well, I have to go right now. <sighs> Excuse me. Well, I'll read Genesis chapter 31 
next video. I have to go right now, but thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you later. Bye.